All right, so this is another section. Um, this is the mushroom cloud, pictures of the mushroom cloud. Just with a little bit of explanation and stuff. And we've got um, people who are suffering for water. It says on the, yeah, it says people are suffering from water. Sorry, I can't put the lights on because um, you're not allowed to have flash or whatever. So. I don't know, I think they're trying to remodel how it looked like in houses with all these bricks and stuff to show you guys um, how bad it was. As you can see, like, the walls are missing and whatnot. Holy Alright, so I don't know if you guys can see this, but the people are literally burning and melting which is the effect of the um, nuclear stuff. It literally like destroyed the people and um, they disappeared in seconds. So this is a basic map of Hiroshima and you can see the airplane. I don't know if you guys can see but it's a video on what was going on. And I'm guessing that red ball right there is where the nuclear bomb exploded. And so it affected this whole radius, which is very bad. Alright, so there's a clock that stopped exactly at 8.15, right when the bomb was um, released and it exploded. Which is really cool actually, looking at all this stuff, like clothes, more clothes, kids, dresses, shoes, notebooks, pants, is that hair? Really? Looks like there's hair from back in the days. And there is, and there is shoes. Ew, skin. Can you hear of a high schooler? Really? So, I don't know if you guys can see this, but that is a nail, fingernail, the fingertip of a student, high school student. And this is a lunchbox. This is a lunchbox. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me focus it a little. Yeah, this is a lunchbox and a water canister, water bottle, whatever you want to call it. And right here, it explains how the nuclear bomb worked and stuff, I guess. And is that the actual size? Up here, up here. Oh, yeah. I'm guessing that's the actual size that was at, um, dropped in Japan. Pretty huge. I mean, what, like two meters? Yeah, here's a little explanation of how the nuclear bomb worked. Works. Holy cow, that's a tricycle that was found after the bomb, um, it's rusted, that's a helmet in the back, it's very interesting, more clothes here, right, some more clothes, it's shoes, and we got some badges, and some wallets, or coin purses, let's go that way. And that's um, a guy wearing clothes, so at least what was left, which is really not cool. You know, looking at all this, you know, it's really sad, you know, looking back at history. These are more clothes left. Glasses, more clothes. Is that a nail? Oh, it looks like that's a nail too, right there in the picture. You see that black thing? And there's a dress. And more clothes, I guess. As you can see in the picture, that was what happened if you were exposed 
Well, actually, well, yeah. If you were exposed to all that, you you would like literally disappear in seconds. Right, right here. There's more clothes. <clears throat> and these are Japanese roof tiles. It says, "Feel free to touch." So I'm just gonna go ahead and touch them. I don't know, very nice, I guess. Nice. Alright, this is like, I don't know, like, I don't know, clothes drawer that was left after the bombing. And these are models. Is this models, right? Actually, actually, this is real. This is what was left um, from the bomb. As you can see right there, you see that little mountain thing? It's, I'm guessing it's that part. So, it's, it's actually real. Touching it, it's solid concrete. And some middle bits and pieces. Um, the roof. Yeah, these are like things for buildings, I guess. The metal bits for buildings. What is this? And this is more part of the roof. Metal roofs, I guess. <clears throat> and right here we have like rocks. What is this? Glass, deformed glass. Oh, this is a glass bottle. Like, you know how they have Coke? I'm guessing this is kind of Coke like that. This is wow. And some rocks and stuff. Looking at these are very, very like, it really explains the history. Uh, all these glasses are melted together and it's like squeezed together. The more, like, more stuff. I think this is something like a pot. And like vases and like statues and stuff. That's a bigger bottle, which is melted down. So what went on was like, seriously like a second or two. So you know, more exclamation about the, you know, bomb. And some bags, clothes. So I have it's all the same thing. It's like repeating the same thing over and over again. But you know, look, just looking at these is just <coughs> harsh. That's more hair. That looks like an actual tongue material from a, of a 22-year-old soldier. Wow, that's a tongue. Wow, and we have like skin, parts of skins, from arms, hands, and legs. And we have a spine, bone marrow, of a person, right there. And it's all real, it's preserved in good temperature, so it won't rot. And more, you know, information and medical notes from doctors and we've got cranes Japanese people like to um, fold cranes for good luck and then more cranes that's so tiny and some more books Robert Jung Jung Jerk Uh, this is the uh, flag for the hospital and this is a military medicine box and the insides are all real too and some more you know notes books and stuff
tiles, roofs. What is this? Foot powder? Oh, this is like medical stuff too. First aid kit. Oh, <clears throat> a map of Japan. So if you guys ever have a chance to visit, um, visit Japan, you should, well, this is one of the places you should visit. Um, so yeah, I guess that's about it. It's Jesus Recovered. It's a machine that um, tells you how much or how close and how much you will get exposed. So as you can see, there's a scale and you are about a little more than 15 centimeters away from the thing right there. And as you can see, it says 76 or, yeah. And then I turn this and I get it closer towards the um, thing. It says Tronium. And now as you can see, it's rising and rising. We're on 1,500, 1,600. So it's basically telling you how much you get affected depending on how close you are. And this is all safe because it says that it's carefully done.